Hey everyone, it's Chantel. Today I'm gonna to talk about what you wanna look for when you're buying a used boat. I'm so low today, so this is gonna be a little bit different, but I just wanted to go over some of the things I would look for um, when shopping for a pre-owned boat, especially if you get to take it out on the water. So I'm at the water today. I'm gonna to run this boat, um, make sure that everything runs and functions the way it should. I'm gonna check and make sure everything's smooth, and then I'm gonna walk around the boat and notice um, anything that may need to be repaired or replaced after, after some years of use. One of the first things you want to check is when you're hooking up, make sure that the lights are actually working and that there's a, um, you have the right attachment that can make it work with whatever your vehicle is, that the emergency strap is there and it actually is functioning the way, or the emergency cable is there and that it's functioning the way that it should be. Um, that all of the parts are there, both of your safety chains, everything that you need, the pin for the hitch, just to make sure that it's going to be safe when it's hooked up to your truck. I also take a look at the winch strap. If it's really worn and um, faded, it might be something that you wanna replace. That's not super expensive, but definitely you don't want that snapping on you when you're out there. So check, check that out, make sure it's still in good shape. And then you just kinda wanna do a walk around on the boat, make sure that the, um, the trailer jack is in good shape and it's not really loose, so it's not gonna tilt or tip or anything like that. The tires on these, I'd say every five to 10 years, depending on how um, how much it gets towed, these ones are still definitely in great shape, so nothing to worry about there, but that might be something to consider. I'm gonna check for the transom straps in the back, make sure that those are there, or you, you could use ratchet straps if you don't have um, the, the retractable ones, but you definitely wanna make sure that there's a spot to put those and that you know um, know what to do with that and then this one I mean when you're looking at pre-owned boats lots of times you're gonna find little dings and nicks and things like that um, cosmetic stuff on the trailer you could probably paint it or replace any trailer trailer markers that need to be replaced um, dings on the outside of the boat so if you find any gel coat scratches or dings that is one of the most expensive things to fix and you want to make sure especially if it's metallic the way that this boat is uh, that you have a professional do it if you have somebody working on it that doesn't really know what they're doing uh, you may have some discoloration and it might might not match up exactly um, typically if it's just a little gouge or ding or something scratch i probably wouldn't worry about getting it repaired depending on the year of the boat if it's a lot newer then it's probably worth it if it's an older boat not so much this particular boat um, is a 2016 malibu and I've never been in it. Our shop did run it, uh, make sure that the engine was running the way that it should be. But what I'm gonna come check is surf gate, power wedge. I'm gonna fill up the ballast. I'm gonna drive it around, make sure that when it's under load and actually turned on and powered up that everything runs smoothly and works the way that it should. I'm also gonna go over all of the stereo, all the lights, any of the features, just so I know And when you're buying one, you know, maybe you don't care about the lighting or anything like that, but it's good to know just so down the road, if you ever wanna make sure it's all functioning the way that it should, you can just check through everything. Moving into the inside of the boat, I mean, the general condition of the boat is something you wanna take a look at. Vinyl is definitely one of the most expensive things to fix. And when you get into older boats, lots of times you're going to find um, cracking or tearing, uh, maybe some discoloration in the vinyl. So if you think that that's gonna be, oh, easy fix or something, it's, it's an easy fix, but it is expensive, especially if you wanna do the whole boat. If there's just one or two cushions that maybe you wanna get um, the seat skins or the vinyl replaced on it, totally doable just know it's never going to match exactly what the rest of the boat is even if you're able to get your hands on the same vinyl um, it won't it because there's wear and tear on the rest of the boat it's not going to match exactly so ideally you wait until a point where you could do the entire boat have it all reupholstered but again that is a pretty expensive thing so most used boats are going to have some wear and tear on the interior uh, if that's something you can't handle then maybe you want to try to find something that doesn't have as much wear and tear um, otherwise no down the road you might have a pretty big expense for this boat i'm at the water and i've turned it on 
and with these older or newer Malibus, uh, the blower is gonna kick on automatically so I can hear it. If you're in a boat that it doesn't kick on automatically, definitely turn that on at the top of the ramp and just make sure that it's functioning and working the way that it should be. If it doesn't turn on, it could be worn out, it could have a blown motor, uh, a fuse could have blown, but, but check into that, make sure that you've got that safety, um, safety feature. And then I'm at the top of the ramp. So I'm gonna check that we've got the battery voltage that we need. Um, sometimes if batteries have fully died and been brought back to life, there's only so many times you can bring them back to life. So not a bad idea if you purchase a used boat to find out when they, they uh, put new batteries in it last. And if you need to, you can put some fresh ones in. All right, so we launched. Again, I'm by myself, so I have fenders, I brought an oar, and then I have all of the safety gear that I need, a fire extinguisher and a throw cushion and a pack of uh, life jackets, so fully safe. And look at what a beautiful day this is. nobody's out here right now so i'm just gonna rip the boat around make sure everything feels good um, when you're driving a pre-owned well even a new boat when you're driving any boat you definitely want it to feel nice and smooth you don't want to have a lot of chatter or um, vibration and on a, on a rough windy day it's a little harder to tell but on a smooth day like this it needs to be really smooth and i don't want to have any vibration from that prop what that can mean if you do feel vibration is that at some point the prop has hit something, um, whether it be the trailer or a piece of debris or the bottom or stump, something like that. And even if it's been um, refurbished, maybe it hasn't been refurbished properly, or maybe there's just a tiny little nick in the prop, or maybe the shaft is misaligned or something like that. If you feel a vibration um, when you're out on the water, a, a really big one, I would definitely get it into a shop and have them take a look at it and make sure it's, uh, it's all good to go before you, before you purchase a boat. And when we're out here, I'm also going to run through all of the options. So I'm gonna look at the heater, I'm gonna make sure the stereo and the lighting all work, all of the buttons and everything. And if you're buying a used boat, chances are not everything is going to work. And I wouldn't let something not working right or something not, um, not being, what you're expecting to be a reason that you wouldn't buy the boat. It's just good to take um, an inventory and make sure that you know exactly what's going on with it. And that way you can, um, you can take care of it down the road if you want to or not, if it's not important to you, but it's a good idea to just do an inventory of all the options and make sure everything is functioning um, the way that you want it to, or you know what to expect. One thing to definitely keep an eye on is the engine temperature. You especially, if you're demoing in the winter time or if you're out on the water um, when it's a little bit colder, definitely make sure that it gets up to temperature before you really run it around. Um, and then make sure that the temperature doesn't go too high. So if it's 170, 175 and getting hotter, um, definitely keep an eye on it. If it's pushing 200, uh, I would shut the boat off and either row in or get somebody to, to pick you up. Um, you're probably gonna get an engine alarm if it gets that high, but just something to watch out for. Carefully hold my phone while I check for the docking lights. Some interior lights up here. Looks like everything is turning on the way that it should be, and I'll check the underwater lights once I'm actually out of the water and I can see them. So I've started a preset. And I'm checking to make sure that all of the ballast is filling, the wedge is gonna do what I need it to do, that surf gates are gonna work. Once it says it's fully ready to roll, um, then I am going to take off and make sure that the surf weight uh, looks like what I'm expecting. 
Keep in mind that when you're going out on a used boat or when you're shopping for a used boat, everybody's needs are different. Some people have huge crews. Some people are only gonna take out four people at a time and that can make whatever you're looking for very greatly. The one thing that's really important if you go out on the water with somebody or with a dealer um, is to make sure that when you're out there, you're like, yeah, this does fit what I need it to do. If you're looking to wake surf, ideally you find something that has a surf system. That's gonna be so much easier to get set up if that's the sole thing you wanna do. But that's gonna be something a little bit newer and maybe more expensive. So if you're looking for something to surf, you could find a V drive that you could add some ballast to or get a surf shaper. If, but the, ga the thing that you wanna really look for when you're out on the water is can I make this boat work for what I need it to do and does it work like it's supposed to is everything functioning the way that it should one thing I would always recommend if there's a dealer in your area that can take a look at the boat and make sure that they check it out do a compression test on the engine they can check out the prop and the shaft and make sure that everything is aligned and looking good like it should be ideally if they can take it to the water and run it out there we dealers know what we're looking for. We know some things that um, we might catch or might find or things we definitely wanna check before we have a boat uh, up for sale or ready for its new owner. So not a bad idea to find a dealer that can take it out on the water and run through the boat for you. If not, just do some due diligence, climb around, make sure everything works the way that it should and try to get out on the water in it before you fully purchase the boat. Those are some things that I would check if you're looking at a pre-owned boat and if you're taking it out on the water and making sure that it's the right fit for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Hope you find the perfect boat. We'll see you on the water. One more time, you gotta check this out. Boom. Oh, that's a 